I remember the day I had lunch with Frances Hesselbein in the Cosmopolitan Club in New York. And one of the observations that I made to her, at this time Frances Hesselbein was uh, National Executive Director of the Girl Scouts, and one of the observations I made to her is that I did not see her, the way she ran the organization, as a hierarchy. Now this is unusual. The Girl Scouts, like the Boy Scouts, were originally modeled upon the military, the British military system, which is where they started. And I said, you seem to have pulled away from any kind of hierarchical structure and, and have a more circular style. And Frances agreed with that. And then she said, you know, this is how I really structure the organization. And she took a salt shaker and the butter dish and the knife and the spoon, and she created on the table what really looked like a web, where you had um, lines of connection running across the structure between people uh, and connecting people who weren't necessarily in that sort of hierarchical direct report line. And I said, it looks like a spider's web, what you've done here on this very fancy you know, uh, table at the Cosmopolitan Club on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. And she said, a spider's web, well, that's really interesting. And so she started using the metaphor of her organization as a web. And I felt it needed another phrase for the book, The, the, the Female Advantage. So I started calling it a web of inclusion because uh, inclusion seemed to be, to me, to be the guiding ethos of the organizations I was studied. And then, of course, that term really got picked up and, uh, and I ended up writing the book, The Web of Inclusion, about how that structure could work in different organizations in a way that wasn't necessarily tied to women's leadership.